Due to COVID-19, the Front Porch Show won't be broadcast for the foreseeable future. However, the cast, crew, and friends will be sharing significant memories of the three years of the show. Today, it's Oriana Broadbeck. Well, I was lending uh, Frank St. Germain my keyboard and he popped uh, over uh, to the house and uh, to get up and uh, Belle sort of sauntered her way over to uh, say hello to him and uh, he just looked at her and said, oh my gosh, this is like the perfect dog. We're looking for a second dog for the front porch show. Do you think uh, Belle could do this? I said, well, what does she need to do? Well, really, just sit and do nothing. I said, well, you know what? She can do that. <laughs> She's perfect. <laughs> In the third season, we noticed that uh, she started taking an interest in the musical acts, which is always at the end of the program. And uh, the first first time was with Joy Brigade, and uh, she just kind of got up from her mat and uh, sat down, laid down again, repositioned herself, looked out, looked out the audience, and she just had this big, huge grin on her face. It was incredible. Well, the next time uh, she really sort of made an active move was uh, Steph Martin was playing. Again, it was near the end of the show, and up to this point, she was just had been just sleeping on her mat, which is normal. Uh, she actually got up and walked in front of uh, Steph and sat in front of her and uh, just was watching her for like the longest time, probably, you know, almost maybe a half a song. And then she laid down and got herself completely comfortable and just watched. It was amazing. Well, the ultimate was, um, I'd actually, each show I usually dress her up in something and it usually has to do with the musical act. And so this time I actually went and got her a little leather coat, kid's leather jacket. So she was wearing this leather jacket and Metallicats were playing. They play Metallica kind of heavy metal music. And she got up from her mat and she walked over and she actually got up on stage and sat in front of the, <laughs> the guitarist who was rocking out. And then she went over and sat in front of the speakers and just chilled. It was priceless. The, my fondest memories really are, are her when she was, you know, very engaged in the show and, um, you know, just sort of taking it all in and being herself and you know it, I mean who really knew that she loved rock and roll honestly <laughs>